Hey guys, uh, a couple of you came in. I know this wasn't announced, but I thought I would just uh, live stream for a little bit because I'm going to be working on some diapers, and I was bored. So, hey, uh, uh, hang on, I gotta fix this. It's not. Oh, shit, we gotta move my screen a little bit. All right, hey everyone who's watching. Hello, hello. Um. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, pretty much back to normal, actually. So super duper happy about that. Um, loud bird, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing a lot better. So I'm super duper happy about that. Seems like my my work at home or my get better at home trick is working. So today I'm working on my diaper snap. Um, doing so yeah. But um. Yeah, I just figured I was kind of bored, so I thought I would just kind of stream for you guys, just to do something. So, I figure we won't probably get that many people in here today, but I was just kind of bored. And seeing as I'm working, I thought I would chat, because I'm the type of person that kind of likes to talk to myself while I do stuff. So, we're just working on putting the snaps in these diapers so I can get them sewn and out the door. Uh, seems like there's always something that gets in the way. So, uh, yes, this is my high chair right now. It's out in the living room and covered in stuff because it's, uh, uh, it's just sitting out here. We moved it out here. We haven't really finished cleaning up the nursery since the, um, building of the crib. So it's out here. I got to adjust it though. Um, this thing is completely adjustable. Uh, there's four settings for the chair itself. And right now, like this is the baby setting. Then this is the setting we have it on for, it's technically the toddler chair setting. And, um, then this is the setting. I'm going to move it down because I have really wide hips and, uh, sometimes this squishes my hips. So I figure if I move it down a little bit, um, we'll see how that works. So hello, hello. Hi, Brian. Nice to see you all in here. Um, but we're kind of basically working on the same thing that I've been working on for quite a while because I keep getting sick. So over the weekend, I had symptoms of an intestinal blockage. And yes, I have a crib. Uh, it's not the bed's not made or anything, but I can show you all the crib real quick before we get started. I plan on doing an actual like video about it soon well not soon once i get the nursery set up a little bit i'm gonna do it like a nursery video so whoa i'm running into things but um here, let me show you guys let me put you down right here for a moment hey hair ties that's what i was looking for so this is my crib currently this is daddy has locks on it up here and it swings open and um so I actually made my own sheet and pillowcase for it. And this is the theme that my nursery is gonna be. So I absolutely love this. This is a bunch of little like jungle plushies and it's so stinking cute. It's not the pattern I was originally going to do. I had one all picked out. It was super duper cute. And it turns out they're discontinuing the fabric that I was going to use. But I am going to keep an eye on it because if the time comes when we move, I'm not doing anything till we move in April. And um, so when we move in April, if the fabric is back, I'll definitely switch to that because that was my first choice and everything. But um, yeah, that is my crib. It's uh, about six feet tall. Um, so when I kneel in here, even when I stand up, um, I barely, I only have like shoulders above it. So it's a pretty decent crib, but I so, so love it. Um, I'm curious because since I've gotten the crib, 
I have slept like a rock. Like I fall asleep within 10, 20 minutes and um, sleep through the night mostly. So I'm curious to see if I were to skip my medication for insomnia, if I would actually sleep. Um, the insomnia meds also help with the seizures, so I'm not necessarily gonna do that, but I'm interested to see if that is what would happen. And I forgot my water. So, but yeah, so I'm just working on diapers today. Um, probably tomorrow I'm gonna be actually scheduling a live stream. because uh, I want to work on some art stuff, actually. I'm working on, I don't know if you can see it in the background. No, it's covered. I'm working on decorating a toolbox so I can use it as my art supply bin that's mobile. Right now I have all my papers and artwork in one little thing, and then I have my markers and pencils and stencils and all that in another. So the hope is that I can put everything in there except for paper. I know paper won't fit. Um, but, uh, yeah, the nursery is going to be a great video. I am super duper excited about it. I'm not going to really do a video until I finish it. I'm going to be making a quilt, curtains. Um, I'd like to get some shelving in for my toys. So I stop having them in one of these. If you could see right there in that black bin, that's what my, um, my toys are stored in at the moment. And it's hard to get to them because it's actually where the bird sits. So it's the second one down is my toy bin. So it's really hard to get to them right now. Um, but when I do my nursery, it's going to be epic. Um, hopefully by then I have a new camera. But we'll see. So right now I'm just working on putting the snaps in this diaper cover. I got almost half. I got a little over halfway through it. Um, if you can see, there's the snaps. Um, but I had to stop doing that because um, I had a seizure. Where did you get your crib or plans for it? Um, my daddy came up with it all on his own. He's a little bit of an engineer uh, architect. And um, so he actually fully designed it. Um, a lot of that is actually scrap wood from uh, his job. And I apologize for the bird, you guys. He is going to be loud. Um, but he designed it all in his head. and. Um, you never know, maybe someday down the road he'll make and sell them. Uh, it took him about two days to do it um, from start to finish. The only issue with making a crib like this is shipping would be really hard to do. So basically he would have to get everything put together and then, or not put together, but cut and you'd have to assemble it, um, which I've seen people do that. So, you know, um, but yeah, unless you're in a spot where we vacation, you never know. Keep, keep my you, Do I keep my binkies in a safe place? No. <laughs> um, I am always carrying a binky out of the bedroom. I have four binkies at the moment. And I think I know where two of them are. <laughs> Actually, I know where three of them are. Because one, well, no, now I only know where two of them are. One of them was up on my high chair. It's actually the binky that I like the least. For some reason, it causes my... Even though it's the same pacifier that I use for every other one, it seems to pull my lip in between my teeth, and it just is not comfortable. But um, I do not. I'm very, 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 very bad about that. Daddy is always like, where the heck are your binkies? So, yeah. I'm really, really bad about keeping keeping my binkies around. So, But, yeah, I thought I would just work on some snaps with you guys, chat, and... Uh, Stuff like that. Oh, there's already one in there. <laughs> you can tell I was in the middle of doing this when I had to stop because of seizure activity because there's still a snap in my, I'll show you guys here. So down here, this is the piece it unscrews. You have to, you have two different pieces. One is for the female end. One is for the uh, male end and it just fits right in there and then it gets attached. So. Um, this thing has been a life saver, I would tell you that much. Um, I used to have uh, snap pliers, and it took me forever, literally forever, to get these snaps in. And this has just revolutionized my snapping, my snap making. So I'm super, super stoked about this. I've had it for a couple of years now. 
uh, bought it back when I was running the business with a partner. We bought it with some of the money we made. So, but, um, no, so things are going, things are going great. I'm super duper stoked to be feeling better. I am doing okay. Oh, here comes the cat. I'm doing so much better than I was uh, this weekend. I had uh, symptoms of a uh, an intestinal blockage. So it was the borderline on ER or not, but basically all they would do for me in the hospital is drop an NG tube, do IV fluids, go NPO. So back a few years ago, my doctor told me that, hey, if you're having symptoms of a blockage, what you can do at home is to go on clear liquids and um, kind of ride it out so long as you don't need pain management. And I was really close to needing pain management um, and stuff like that. Seizures, yeah, seizures are kind of scary. Thankfully, I mean, I'm going through the process of applying for disability. So the fact that I have a little more seizures is kind of good for me because it kind of helps my case with the seizures. So um, I'm, while I'm, I don't like them, it's kind of okay that I'm having a little more seizure activity, but um, you know, that, that's kind of life with PNES, uh, which is psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. Um, did I put one in there? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, they're kind of hard to predict. Same thing with epilepsy, really, but um, it's particularly hard to predict with the PNES because I don't know my triggers yet. So, yeah, pardon me. But um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this is itching so bad. Uh, all right. So in this diaper, I have mm, four, five, six, seven, seven. That doesn't. Sound, that's not right. I should have nine. Uh, I must have counted wrong. You know, I probably did because I cut the right amount of these, and I only have. I don't have two of them, so I'll have to put those in. Because I have nine. Wait, one. I must be missing a couple. I'll have to check that out. But yeah, I am pretty used to the seizures at this point. It's been, what, two and a half, three years now. So I'm pretty used to it. We know what to do. Um, thankfully, I can almost always feel them coming on. <laughs> Bink, when, I'm, when we do move and everything, we're going to have a proper setup, and I will definitely be keeping Binkies in a specific spot. I just don't right now. Um, I'm really hoping there's a, there's several adult pacifier companies out there, but there's one that I'm particularly interested to try and that's over at adultpacifier.com. They do an adult ver sized version of the MAM di or diapers, MAM binkies. And, um, I've seen a couple of them in person and absolutely cannot wait to try one. However, they charge like 60 bucks. So it's like hard to justify buying one and I'm hoping that if I do get one I can kind of you know they fit the normal button so that is cool so I if I feel like changing it up you know then I can I really would love to kind of have a few on hand but they're expensive as fuck good thing I have clips I have one binky clip um one I need to make one for each of my binkies because I, God knows I don't keep track of them well enough. Pardon me, guys. I've just got a new article of clothing and it's itchy. I should probably wash it before I wear it, but I wanted to try it out. So, yeah. But <clears throat> my bird is loud as, as can be today because he wants to go outside. Because it's gorgeous, it's sunny, it's about 50 degrees, and he is all about the going outside right now. So, he's loud as can be. So, but yeah. 
results. No, I've got so much stuff to work on. It's not even funny. I have, well, these four diapers right here. I'm working on four diapers right now. And then I've got several articles of clothing as well. Your DIY video for Money Man is the best out there. Oh, awesome. Um, I actually got the idea from another YouTuber. Uh, she posted um, how to modify them. And I learned how to modify it from there. So, um, I can't take the credit for the method, but I'm glad you really like it. Uh, it makes, it makes modifying them so easy and, well, I guess I do have, no, I don't have them. Okay. Um, it makes modifying them really, really easy. And, um, let's see, how long does it take to finish an item? It really varies on the particular item. Diapers, I can usually do them from start to finish in probably about two hours. Um, so right around two hours, I would say. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit less, depending on how fast I'm working, like if I solidly work. Um, but the reason that my, my turnover time is, you know, four to six weeks is because I have to wait for the money to go into my account because it does take a couple days with Etsy while your shop is still new. Um, so I have to wait for the money to get into my account and then I have to, um, I have to order fabrics because I don't order in bulk at the moment. Um, hopefully I'll figure out a few prints that are really, really popular and be able to just kind of bulk order them at some point. Let's see, I have one. I need one more. Where are you? Well, hang on, I'm looking for my little piece here and I don't seem to see one, so I might have to cut another one. But, um, I need two. There we go. It goes back in there. One, two, one, two. And I need one more strip here. There should be something around here for that. Apparently not. Man, I cut myself short by one. Huh. I know I had another one that's just a matter of where it is. <laughs> so, I mean, this one has a hole in it and everything. But um, with, like, the sleepers and everything, yeah, I sew those in probably... It really varies. I have, it's hard to tell, but um, usually around four hours for those, four to five hours for those. So from start to finish, and I mean from washing fabric to being done with the last item of sewing. So, okay, that one's in. No, that one is not in. I, I'm a bit of a ding dong here. I, that's, that's what happens. I forgot to put a, top on that one. So, Amy, those are my garbage pile. All right. But it, I usually kind of gauge all my pricing based off of how long it takes me. I kind of charge for the supplies and then I charge for um, basically the time. So that's how I get the price for my, uh, all my items is basically I I almost always make an item before I post it for sale. So it'll be like, I need to go find this here real quick. Give me one second. Let me go find a piece. <sighs> then I can keep talking. <laughs> But I usually charge about $10 per hour for sewing, um, which is actually a fairly decent deal. Jimmy, you need to knock it off, Bubba. Okay. Um, which is a fairly good deal. I've seen a lot of people actually charge a lot more. And um, I just don't want to do that to people. So I kind of charge like $10 an hour for the sewing. And I charge for supplies and shipping. So... Yeah, but I did, I, something that's pretty cool is I actually just got my first truly custom order. Um, there's a new option on Etsy 
for basically contacting and doing a custom order private listing type thing. And I had someone contact me and say, hey, I've been watching your shop. I would love to get something like this. Can you do it? So I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So snaps are done on that one. Okay. And this one is a diaper cover. So it's going to be a little bit different than, um, than my diapers because I'm trying to kind of distinguish between the two. There is a little bit of a price difference, but not much. Um, on these, let me see if I poke my holes yet. Yes, I did. Okay. So, um, that, these do not have holes yet. Yes, they do. Okay. But I'm thinking, I was making my diapers and my covers almost the exact same. The only difference was there was no opening in the back of the cover. And now I find this. Whoa, Jimmy. He is going nuts over there. He's just playing away. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on revamping the pattern. I think this is kind of my first, ex one of my experiments with it. You guys sometimes get experimented on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, calm down, dude. Calm down. Some southern right there. Calm down. Down, down. JJ, let's not be extremely noisy, okay? He is usually such a quiet little bird until I do anything video related. Out of all of the diapers I've tried, what have been my favorite? That is a very good question. Um, currently, I'm using my second favorite diaper, which is the ABU Simple. Um, I really like those a lot. They, they hold a very good amount of pee. I can last all day in them pretty much. Well, not all day, but I mean like for hours. I change probably every six to eight hours. Um, they hold up fantastically as far as what the diaper itself does while you're wearing it. And um, they also hold a lot. So I can undo this diaper several, several times um, before I it's really kaput. So <clears throat> I really do like those ones. Um, my first and always favorite diaper is Tykeables. They're especially since they redid the taping system. They have gone to a hook and loop now with a plastic diaper and i will tell you there is nothing like that around that is that good how excited am i for my nursery i am so excited um it's kind of going to be a nursery slash filming space so any of my kind of more ab related diaper videos or ab videos in general are kind of going to be filmed in there when i move um, because I'm going to, I'm going to have it looking pretty cute. Um, so, so yeah, but, um, I'm super duper excited about it. Um, I'm really enjoying just having the crib right now. No more daddy waking me up snoring more, no more me keeping him up snoring and, um, stuff like that. And diaper lover and basketball player, I most of us here do. Um, there's a few of us who are just incontinent, but most of us do really love them. So I can tell by your name. So, guys, I, I just want to say this though, real quick is let's not spam the channel with the same thing over and over. I had a bit of an issue with that last time, and uh, I currently don't have a mod, so it's all me. And, um, Please don't spam the same question over and over again. Do I sleep with my binkies at night? Yes. Um, I was, I always have one with me. I don't necessarily fall asleep with it in every night, but for the majority of it, I, I do. And I kind of have a binky with me most of the time when I'm at home. So I kind of use it throughout the day, sleep with it at night. Um, I'm a bit of, a weird breather at night. I'm not sure if I have apnea or whatever, but um, it's hard for me to actually keep the pinky in at night 
because I go back and forth between breathing through my nose and breathing through my mouth because I have such bad sinuses that I can't necessarily just keep the pacifier in all night. And uh, that's usually when I fuss and daddy has to come give me my pacifier again. Um, he's told me about that many times. <laughs> so, yes, I do sleep with it. Um, there's always one in my bed. Almost always. I know there's one behind the bed at the moment or underneath it that I've got to go digging out soon. <laughs> so I cut way too many of those. Well, I cut two extra. I usually try to cut two extra. But basically all I'm sitting here doing is putting them in these little squares. This reinforces the snaps in the diaper and um, also keeps it a little bit waterproof around those, around those uh, snaps. And then I just load them into the diaper itself, flip it around, and go to town. <clears throat> I like to try and load like five of them up at a time, but they don't always stay in the diaper until the snaps are in. But have I tried rears diapers? Yes. Um, I am not a huge fan of rears, but they're okay. Their safari diapers are pretty awesome. Jimmy, Jimmy, calm down. Okay. Do you want to get out? You can, but the kitty is out. <clears throat> so I, I, I will wear them. I will wear them if I have them. I don't personally buy from her. Um, I've had issues with her in the past regarding some stuff I've mentioned before. Um, but I have been gifted some and I will wear them then. But I, I really don't support that. I didn't put in, did I? I did. Okay. I really don't necessarily hush little birdie, right? He's so loud today. I may have to get him out. He really does love sewing with me. So he gets very aggravated if I don't get him out. Um, but I have tried pretty much every version of the rear's diapers. Okay, we're going to get him out while I say this. Um, I've tried every version of the rear's diapers pretty much. And I really don't find that they're worth the price most of the time. While they're all along the same line as like ABUs and stuff, it's a god awful price. You gonna come out? Oh, no, we're not gonna come out today. No. I'm not gonna force him out, but he might come out. Come here. No, okay. Hopefully that's enough to kind of quiet him up. I know what I could do. We're gonna give you a treat to shut you up while I so while I do this. Would you like some treats? Here we go. Uh, we'll do this for now. There you go. Have some treats. That'll kind of shut him up. I just gave him some millet, and that should shut him up if he gets down and figures out what's going on. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got my name forever ago. Oh, a uh, buddy I used to talk to on Yahoo Instant Messenger um, started calling me that, and it kind of stuck because it really goes along with Brittany, and uh, it it really did stick. So I go by Binky very often, and my little name is Chloe. So you'll you may hear me refer to that as well. But um, yeah, I know a lot of people don't don't have like a little name per se, but I do. Have you had incontinence since twenty two thousand seven, and how did the incontinence happen? Um, I'm not sure if I've done a video on this before or not, but I have had incontinence basically since two thousand seven. My first surgery was in two thousand five. And I had no, I, I didn't have a colon. And it was, um, it was really disconnected, so I didn't have many issues. But um, so in 2007, when they started to, when they did my third or fourth surgery, fifth surgery, I don't know. 
they reconnected my colon and my small, well, not my colon and my small intestine. They created a J pouch in 2007. And um, what that is, is it's an internal pouch that they connect to your anus. And um, when they reconnected that one, it was always like there was issues with bowel control and stuff because they had just operated on the muscles and the muscles had not been used in so long that it, it just was very weak. So naturally incontinence issues occur. Um, and the bladder just kind of started going anyway because it was just so damaged from all the surgeries. I've had 11 surgeries I think 11 surgeries, it might be more than that. Um, 11 surgeries total on my abdomen in the bladder area. So the muscle or the, the nerves have just completely died. I have zero feeling in my bladder, completely zero feeling. I never know when I have to go. I never know when my bladder is full. Um, the only time I can ever feel anything regarding going pee is if, I'm sitting in the car or something, my bladder will try to pee and then it kind of gets clogged and it hurts. So it hurts the muscles surrounding the bladder. So that's the only time I know if I have, if I'm, my bladder is trying to go. Other than that, I just feel it when it comes out. Um, but yeah, your name, little name is Chloe. That's awesome. My name is Chloe. That is cool. Chloe kind of just came about. It's a name that I have liked since I was a very young child. Um, I've always had a special connection with the name Chloe. And growing up, I really wanted to name one of my kids Chloe. But now that I have my genetic disease and I can't really have kids at the moment um, without risking my life, I decided that because the name was so special to me, I was going to use it as my little name and it just stuck. I absolutely love it. It's, it is who I am. So, um, yeah, let me see if I can kind of show you guys what's going on. Let's see. So basically what happens is I line this up. Oh, you can't see it very well. Let's see in a minute. Line it up, touch it down, disconnect the snap. This kind of all I'm doing is over and over and over again. So, but that's fine. Chloe is such a pretty name. I really do love the name, and it's really only in the last couple of, like, the last decade that it's gotten really popular, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like when things get popular. Yeah. So, it was kind of a sad thing that it became popular. So, you can't feel when you... Um, I can feel when I... Um, when I have a bowel movement. I can feel that I need to have a bowel movement, and I can feel that I... I'm going. Um, the problem comes in with my muscles are so weak from all the surgeries that I have a hard time controlling the muscles and keeping the sphincters closed if I have to go. So pretty much once I notice I have to go to the bathroom, I better run. There are some times where it's like I can feel it for a half hour to an hour before I actually go. It just really depends on the day, how my muscles are doing, whether or not I'm fatigued or sick. If I'm sick, all control is out the window. But the bladder, I cannot feel at all. So. Uh, that one went really fast. Okay. All right, you guys can see the snaps a little better on this one. This is one of my most popular diaper prints. Everybody absolutely goes nuts for this print. Um, I have one in this print. So it was one of my first prints that I ever did. So have you tried making training pants or would you be able to make a pair? Um, I have sort of tried. So with the training pants, basically there's not much purpose to training pants if they're not waterproof and if they don't absorb well. Like I have a pair of the rear, I have several pairs of the rear's training pants and those are, those are a joke. Um, training pants usually are just a, um, just a kind of fun thing. Um, but I, I'm definitely wanting to make them. I just have not had much time to do so. Um, that is my hope to be able to make, I really want to just kind of make everything, you know, my most recent endeavor has been adult bibs. Those aren't going so great because I 
probably need to uh, market them a little bit better. I'm kind of bad about that. But, um, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to, you know, I'm working on the bibs. I'm working on diaper bags. I'm working on um, just different things that I'm putting up. So I always, you know, my diapers are kind of my best sellers at the moment, which I thought my onesies would be. But, you know, there's so many onesies out there that are good quality. Um, so it's it's uh, it's kind of a competition at that point. Does little space come effortlessly to you? Yes. Um, I'm pretty much always in little headspace um, with, with adult, you know, like... It's just a very natural way of life to me. So it does just kind of come naturally. I'm always in that, you know, one minute I can be talking as an adult, the next minute I am very, very little. So it really just depends. Um, there's some days where I'm, you know, not feeling like being little. So I kind of push it farther down. But yes, it does come effortlessly for me. Can we see the rear strain pants? Uh, Give me a few minutes. Let me finish up this diaper because I do have to go switch laundry. So let me finish up this diaper and I will go grab one because there's one in the laundry at the moment. It wasn't dirty, but it just got put in the laundry for some reason. So um, something that I get asked a lot is if I'm going to try to do surgeries or anything to um, help my incontinence. The answer is no. Um, any surgeries I have are basically completely as needed because I have tumors in my abdomen that will grow um, if I have surgery. So we really, really don't want to go in there and do something with the possibility that it may not work. Plus with me, it's so natural for me now. The diapers are just a part of life. Um, the only reason I would ever consider not doing it is because that way, if I don't need diapers, then it's a little bit of a less cost, you know, but um, I really plan on, I really plan on um, not really doing anything about it because there is not much they can do at this point. The nerves are dead. So it's really hard to regenerate nerves like that. So, but yeah. Okay, we're getting there. We've got about, after these three, we have four left. And then we have one more diaper, and then I can sew those together, which is awesome. I do have to go through. So I put my, oops, I, I recently put my footed pajamas up online for sale. And um, uh, <laughs> I made them in my size to take a picture. Okay, Terrell, let's not, let's not have those conversations, please. That is not an appropriate type of comment for this. All right. What is your favorite kind of bottle? I am a little obsessed with the Nuck ones. Okay, so funny you asked that question because I am waiting for the mail to arrive because I have some pretty awesome things in store for that, which will be Friday's video for sure. Uh, maybe stick around long enough you guys can get a sneak peek at the box opening although my daddy's a little funny about me opening stuff little related without him here um i personally at the moment have not or not not brown doc brown dr brown bottles um i really really like the way those work and i don't know for some reason it's just like they're they're very comfortable to drink out of and um I understand you were just asking Terrell, but please, please, I pretty much, I have, I have blocked people from my channel over things like that, persistently asking that question. I am just not into that type of question. Um, but do I have an Instagram? Um, let me finish the bottle question. So I have a bottle from Pacifiers R Us, I believe it is, that someone gave me. And I absolutely love that one. It's a 20 ounce 
model with a modification in the top that fits a, uh, an at, I think it's Avent. The Avent? Yeah, it's an Avent nipple. And I really like the Avent nipples because they are basically the size you would need as an adult. So I really, really like that as well. Why am I missing a piece? One. Okay. Um, so those are my favorites so far. I'm, I have bottles coming in the mail today from a fellow Etsy shop who has agreed with me to do a video. And uh, I think we're going to be really impressed with those. So, um, But do I have an Instagram for or Facebook? And what is it? Um, I do have Instagram. I do not have a Facebook outside of my personal Facebook, per se. Um, I have, like, my Binky Girl art page on Facebook. So there's that. But other than that, I really don't have a Facebook. I have Instagram. I just don't post on there very often. Um, I'm really bad when it comes to social media. Like I'm on social media a lot, but when it comes to using new social medias and stuff, I'm really, really bad about it. I'm getting the hang of Twitter. I, I know that like for years it's been posting my videos when they go up and stuff, but I'm really trying to get into the hang of posting on Twitter more. So I figure once I start off with Twitter, I might do some Instagram. <clears throat> Nuck feels like using a binky at the same time as well. Yeah, that is kind of true when it comes to those. I, I do like theirs. It's just that theirs are way too fast for me. If you go with the slower nipple, then you end up with the uh, with the um, you end up with the really tiny nipple. And if you go with the bigger bottle, the flow is really fast. I kind of like an in between flow. <coughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of that with the the car accident thing. It seems to have affected you know people who are in car accidents seem to have a lot of issues. With all right, so we're down to one more diaper. Let me go switch over my laundry real quick, and then I'll come back and answer more questions and just chat. <clears throat> Oof. Once I figure out how to get up, my body's a little sore today. <sighs> Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Let's go do some laundry. You're not even eating your millet, dude. Okie dokie, let's see here.
I had 11 of surgeries. Yes, I did have 11 surgeries. Um, nearly died a few times. And so, surgeries. Do you make your own diapers or you buy your diapers? Um, I do make my own cloth diapers. Um, I'm not using cloth that much right now just for convenience purposes. But I, use, I do make my own cloth diapers at the moment. Hello, cat. Uh, hello, buddy. He's my little sewing buddy. Yes, he is. I'm done. That's work to do. Um, but I do order my, I do order my disposables. I wear currently. I'm using um, ABU Simples. Hopefully, here in the next little while, when I have enough money from my business. I am going to get a case of takeables because I want them. Um, but their their pre shipment stuff drives me crazy. They do not order enough diapers to sell. Like they do all this pre order stuff. And by the time they come in, boom, they're gone. So that kind of drives me bonkers. <laughs> so, oh yes, I was going to grab the rear straining pants. Oh. I know there's some around here somewhere, it's just a matter of where. Way up there. Okay. All right. So this pair is a several months old. It's been washed and washed and washed because sometimes I wear them in between when I don't want to change. Um, I do hope to sell modded pacifiers sometime um bottles not sure we'll see there's an idea that i have in store for that but i would love to do modded pacifiers so this is one of the rears uh training pants this is a 4x it's way too big if you are going to order rears training pants re they run huge so the measurements they have on there not accurate definitely go down at least a size um if you're you know but um this is what they are. They are completely knit and cotton and all that. There's no waterproofing to them, um, which makes them cool, but at the same time, they're useless. They are useless. They don't even hold up. Like you, As soon as you wet it, it's going to be wet on the outside. So really, it is just a training pad. It's not able to be used, but it is nice and fluffy. But whatever they use, is, one of these days, I'm going to cut one of these open and see what's inside of it because I really don't use them. And I have like four pairs of them, but these are huge. Um, but they really don't have any absorbency to them. They just kind of flow straight through like actual kid training pants do. But I feel like kid training pants also have a little more absorbency. <clears throat> so cool that you make your own cloth. How much do you charge? How can I get them? If you tell him them or where I can go online to get them. Um, I charge, it varies what I charge for diapers. Um, usually my, my standard diaper, like you're going to see me make here, is going to be $50. Um, the fabric for diapers is not cheap at all. Um, uh, see you later, diaper lover. Um, the, it's not cheap. It costs me $15 just in that fabric to make a diaper. Um, but I do have an Etsy shop. It is linked in the bottom of all of my recent YouTube videos. Um, it's Binky Girl AB Creations, all one word. Uh, just type that in the search bar and it'll bring you right to my shop. Do I have a favorite ABDL YouTube channel? Um, I have a couple that I really, really like. Uh, Mid America Little is one of them. Uh, I really like the way Zach presents the AB community. Um, he's his channel is just wonderful. I really do enjoy his channel. Um, let's see. Um, so Zachy, I really like his channel. I also really do kind of like Blonde Boy's channel. Um, 
his content is just so adorable and innocent and fun. And it's definitely something that kind of triggers my little side a little bit. I want to go have fun and play. And, you know, he lives out in Canada and there's really wide open spaces there for, you know, people in the AB community to just express themselves. Um, maybe when I finish this, di this diaper <laughs> snaps, I will take a look at what's actually inside this diaper because I really do want to know what it's made out of. You know what? We're going to do that right now because I really want to know. And I don't need this one because I have, I think I have four of this particular pattern and then one more. So we're going to cut it open and see what's inside. These are my special scissors. These are amazing. They keep our, um, they keep my tendons, um, in shape. I have tendonitis issues. So these are fantastic. So we're going to cut open this diaper and see what's inside. Whoa. And I'm going to cut it on the side seam. Who knows? I can always use this knit for something else. We'll see. Um, Canada is fun. I've never really been to Canada per se, as far as like being able to explore Canada. I've visited some friends in Canada, but we, you know, we'd go to their house and we'd hang at their house. Um, I was very, you know, I was young. I was under like 14 and 15 at the time. So it was, it was fun going and hanging out with them. I've just never really been able to explore, you know, much more of Canada. I would love to go to some of the Canadian events, you know, like um, some of the ABDL camps they have and stuff would be really neat. But I do not have a passport and I do not have an enhanced license because I am too far south to really have them offer those. But anyway, you need passports now, so bah, I'm not really gonna do that unless for some other reason. But I have like half hour from, I used to live only an hour from the border of, um, let's see, Buffalo. I lived in Buffalo. Well, I lived near Buffalo. <laughs> so like an hour outside of Buffalo. And I also lived kind of the same distance between me and Niagara Falls. So I did go to like Niagara Falls all the time. We went all the time while we lived there. So, okay, let's see. Huh, this is kind of what I suspected. Let's take a look. We're opening this up to see what's inside. <laughs> I love deconstructing these things. I'm always like, what's inside of the diaper? I was in Buffalo. Um, I used to live in, well, not in Buffalo, but uh, I used to live in Lockport, New York. And I have since moved. Oh, wow. No wonder this doesn't have absorbency in it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to just, if this will let me do it, we'll see. But I grew up uh, basically in a teeny tiny town, Medina, New York, um, which was about an hour outside of Buffalo. So, okay. So as I suspected, <laughs> This is exactly what I thought was inside these, in all honesty, completely. Um, I am, however, going to keep this to make a pattern for the, the measurements. I really like that. Um, tiny world, yes. Tiny, tiny world. Okay, cool. So when I go on there, I'm to me to order. Um, yeah, Terrell, there's listings there. There's all different types of fabrics you can choose. And I ship them straight from my house to you. Um, unless you have like a different place you want to ship them to, um, then, then, um, you know, that's, you just put in your shipping address and I send there. Um, so yeah, we spend Easter in New York or in Lockport. Yes. I, uh, I lived in Lockport for quite some time. I actually kind of like living in Lockport. Okay. Ta-da. So. This is what's inside, and this is why there is no absorbency. Basically, what this is right here is polyfill, I would say poly, polyester, like fiber fill, basically like what you would put in a batting of a quilt. So that is why there is zero absorbency here to that, um, because it's just going to slip right through that, just completely go straight through, because it's not meant to absorb. But this is what the inside absorbency looks like. I really do like the uh, the the shape of this. I will say that much. But wow, this is no wonder it doesn't absorb anything. I love deconstructing these. It's so fun. But I actually am possibly going to keep this and make a pattern. Looks like a blanket filling. Yeah, that's basically what it is. 
it's just what you put inside a blanket. And that's why it doesn't absorb anything because it's not meant to. It's just for purposes of being fluffy. But yeah, so that was interesting. Yeah, what nationality am I? I am a lot of different nationalities. I am primarily uh, European, Scottish, English, Irish. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff in there, but primarily European. I think there's a little, I forget. I, it's been a while, but European. Yep, yep. Where's my water? There it is. Good grief. <laughs> I actually do need to watch the clock a little bit because any, uh, you know, in a couple hours, daddy's going to bust bluster in and be loud. And I got to plug in my computer. All right. Now that we just deconstructed that, I'm going to go check my, my mail. See here. It has been delivered. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Go back to where I can see myself. My package has been delivered. I'm super duper excited. I'm not sure Daddy will let me open them without him. So, let me ask him. Who did I miss a call from? Whoever it was did not leave a message. How much you want to bet he's going to say no? Uh, he usually does, and it kind of makes me sad. All right. And then this diaper, this is an interesting diaper here. Um, this was a custom design for somebody. I believe I've talked about this before. Uh, where my first attempt at making a waddle diaper. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. I've never tried it. I've never even tried it for myself. Usually I try everything for myself before I even consider, you know, selling it for other people. But this is cool, cool. Thought you were from that you were from. Yeah. Yep. I am from upstate New York. Well, I grew up in Michigan. Most like half of my life was in Michigan. Half my life was in New York. And then the rest of it was here. So, well, I spent a year in Connecticut. Almost exactly a year. Little over, but about a year. So, uh, but anyway, this is a waddle diaper. It's my first time making it. I'm still kind of constructing this whole thing in my mind because I've never done it before. And, you know, with the thick, wanting the thickness in there, I'm trying to figure out how you get it in there without really having an industrial machine. And thinking I'm going to do it kind of like a pocket style diaper. We could just put all the inserts in there and then take them out so that if you need to wash it, it's easier to wash. Um, and then you can also still custom, you can custom fill it, you know, if you want to make it so that it does hold a little bit more, you can, you know, because I do sell inserts that will fit into this type of thing. So that's kind of where I'm leaning toward at the moment with making this. So let's see. Come on, daddy. He's going to say no. He always says no. I haven't even. I just went and got the mail itself because I figured, well, might as well check it. All things equal, I'd rather be in Nevada. Uh, I don't know. I haven't. I've traveled to a lot of at this point a lot of different states. Like I've been to Connecticut, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, New York, Michigan. Um, and so far, as far as like living conditions, hands down, Kansas is the best. Um, hate, hate, hate winter and snow. Snow is gorgeous, but I hate it. I'm allergic to it. It drives me crazy. I don't do well in the snow or in the cold. I don't mind the cold. I just don't like the snow. So that is one glorious thing about Kansas is it's been for the last week, we've had 60, 70 degree weather. Um, and I'm pretty sure, knock on wood, that our spring is here. And I love, I love it when the weather goes warm. Um, I can go outside with my bird and my cat and 
It's awesome. I have never been to Vegas. Never, never. Um, my boyfriend has been several times. Uh, it was kind of a family thing. They used to go a lot. So uh, he's been, but I just have never been. So I feel like I'm missing pieces to this, and I don't know why. We'll see how it goes. Oof. Oops. Daisy. I hate humidity unless I'm vacationing. Um, I really don't mind. I, w I actually do a little bit. When it's like super duper high humidity, I have an issue with breathing, but I have more of an issue with my breathing in New York than I do here. Um, although it's kind of gotten worse over the last few years, so I can't really say that. Um, I do like the, like when we went over to Utah for a week, I, I loved the weather there. Um, whenever it was, you know, it was hot, but it was, you know, in the shade, it was gorgeous. Not too hot, not too humid. I really did like that. But one of the problems with where we were going to move to in Utah is that there's terrible, terrible inversion in the winter and things like that. So I, breathing was horrible. It was just so horrible. Um, but I'm not, did I already put one in there? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, Places like the desert, God, I would die. I am a the type of person I have to have water in my life. That's one reason I'm so happy about moving is we're gonna have a pool again, and I it's literally like right outside our door, and I am so excited because I love to swim. I love the water. It's really good for my body and for you know weight loss and things like that. So I'm super excited have a pool again. Why do you fall out? So, yeah. What's your opinion on plastic pants? Dryer good for the sun sinuses. Dryer is not good for my sinuses um, because mine gets so, I have such bad sinuses that it actually dries out. Um, what's my opinion on plastic pants? I hate them. Um, I absolutely cannot stand them because this is why I I have very large thighs. So my around my legs, I have thunder thighs. I have like tree trunks for freaking thighs. Um, and it's very hard. I have a I have big thighs and smaller waist. So finding something that fits in both the thighs and the waist is almost impossible. It's always too big in the waist and too small in the thighs. So if I make my own, maybe I wouldn't have such a problem with them. Um, I do in really like PUL pants. Um, swimming on. I do like PUL plastic pants because there's just a little more to the legs and they're a little stretchier and just a little more give. I really do like those. I have swimming goggles. I do not. I don't usually. Well, I haven't had the ability to swim in so long because of my seizures. My boyfriend like doesn't let me out of his sight with the swimming because obviously, but um. And he's not a water person at all. He likes to fish. That's it. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't have a pair of goggles at the moment. I would like to get some for this summer. <clears throat> but uh, as far as plastic pants go, I've tried so many different types. And I've just never found one I like. Now, if I make my own, I probably would have a lot better luck because I can fit it to myself. I do not have a swim cap. I don't actually do like swimming. Um, I like getting my hair wet and everything in the pool. So I don't have all the swimming gear. I just get in there and enjoy the water. But um, that's been something on my list. I do have, it's over there somewhere. I'd have to go look for it. But um, I did make a pull on diaper basically at one point for somebody. And then the, the, somebody never ended up getting it. So uh, it was kind of a trial. And um, I do like that, I think. I could, I could handle that. Pull-on diapers are actually halfway decent if you can get the right absorbency. The problem with pull-on diapers is they're not as sturdy, so you cannot put them as thick um, as you would, like, a diaper that snaps on like the ones I'm making now. So 
you kind of forfeit. Same thing with pull-ups and disposables is you kind of forfeit the uh, absorbency a little bit when you go with that. TYR makes excellent caps and goggles. Probably will never buy a swimming cap. <laughs> Probably never. I, I don't swim for the purpose of, you know, it's not any type of swimming laps or anything. I can't do that. I'm not a good enough swimmer for that. I just swim for my enjoyment. I swim around. I float around. I, you know, I enjoy the water thoroughly. So, yeah. And my daddy still has not answered me. Hmm. That's something I should think about. Like, when I have unboxings and stuff, I should do more of the, uh, like, unboxings live than do my reviews later. So... I'm proud of myself for getting this far on this, in all honesty, because I have not, with how I have felt this week, I thought for sure there was going to be seizure activity the last couple of days. There's not, but I'm, I'm very happy that I've been able to accomplish this today. <clears throat> I will say, um, the other thing I have to say regarding my diapers is I do a hidden POL. So as you can see, this one's very different. This is a Pokemon theme. Um, when it comes to things like characters and stuff like that, there is not, I have yet to find a PUL in a character. So unless you want to pay God awful amounts of money to have it created, which I am not willing to do, nor are any of my customers so, thus far. So there's the version of the cloth diaper that is called hidden PUL. Basically what you do is you sew the cotton on top of the PUL, like I showed in my last, last stream. Um, those tend to run a lot more expensive because you're basically getting double the fabric oh, I did it again you're getting double the fabric so um i'm just gonna throw that one it, it does bop the price up you know character fabrics are not cheap gotta head out thank you so much for sticking around and having some fun with us have a good day Ugh. If daddy does not answer me here before I'm done with this, I will probably go get it and just do an unboxing anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead and see how he silenced up, but he didn't even eat his treat. He just wanted attention. And I try to give him attention and he doesn't come out. He's, held, he's chilling up there. His door is open. So he can come out, you know, the bird and the cat, like the bird or the cat does not harass my bird. He'll sit there and watch him. And uh, just, he just ignores him mostly. So I'm very thankful for that. Right, Bubba's? Hi. Don't lose my, I won't. I have my binkies. It's just a matter of where the, they're all in my bedroom right now. They're all there. I just have to keep track of them. One is in my bed, because I did not take it out this morning. And one is on the tray somewhere in the bedroom. Then I think one of them, my really my favorite one, is under the bed. I'm trying to transition away from that one, because it's uh, pretty old at this point. Um, it's so old that I've completely worn the texture of the silicone down. So yeah, it needs to be retired. It does. And I am, when it comes to transitioning to a new binky, I'm really bad about it. I will use the same binky and I have four of them. I have one other, I have one that is old and then I have one that is broken in pretty well. I'm breaking in another one right now. I kind of like to match them to my outfit sometimes. So, Ugh. I really love this pattern. I actually have a fabric similar to this. Um, but it's uh, all the different, it's a bunch of different first gen Pokemon. Love watching your live streams. I always work on my own projects, like I'm making binky clips. Awesome. That's very cool. I have made some binky clips before. Um, do you sell your stuff, Princess? Princess is me, is, is me. I don't know how to say that, but um, by all means, if you want to share your information, go for it. I'm always, I always love to support other um, creators as far as, you know, sewing stuff and whatnot. I 
I greatly enjoy that. I love to see people's stuff. I, I am constantly on Etsy looking at stuff constantly. So, um, like that's how I found this company or this, this shop that sent me this stuff today. Um, and I found those, their stuff. I was going to buy one either way, but I'm like, Hey, are you guys willing to send me a bottle in, in exchange for, uh, a video that I would spread your shop around and they said yes and I was super excited I will probably purchase from them in the future because I really like the look of their stuff I will for sure see when I am finished but um, but yeah and that's princess that is something that I do all the time whenever I'm watching a live stream I'm always doing something on my own, like when I watch my one artist friends or artist stream, um, I'm always drawing or working on a project of some sort when I watch streams. And for a while, that daddy had a rule of no Twitch or something, well, until all your orders are taken care of. And it's like, um, I'm like, but that's when I do my stuff. You don't have any shop, but I've been thinking about it. I honestly recommend Etsy. Um, like I've had a lot of success with them so far. So the, they charge a 20 cent fee, non-refundable fee when you post your items. And then they do charge a fee once you sell an item. It's not that big of a charge. Um, but yeah, it's not that big of a charge, and it's, you know, it's something I can handle. I would, I am going to at some point work on having my own, sh like, website so that I don't have to deal with those fees. I just need to get that actually created. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> you know, sewing has always been my passion, and, you know, since the incontinence has come about and my search, I keep putting one in there and forgetting I did. My search for the the diaper that works the best for me, you know, has been, has led me to designing my own. And, you know, I've had, you know, it started out with people just asking me, hey, will you, will you, can I have one? Can you make me one? And I'm like, yeah, sure. But I literally, um, you know, I bought a couple of different patterns. I found one that I kind of liked, but there were things I wanted to tweak and um, went from there. And I've actually sat there and designed all of my sizes and everything to, you know, work out properly. And, yeah. So. But like I said, I'm always working on working on stuff here. Um, I'm always working on new things, so um, surprisingly enough, I have not had much um, oh goodness sakes, I'm getting poked. Okay. My soon to be roommate is uh, on her way home from school and wants to chat. And I'm like, give me a little bit. I'm I'm working on stuff. I am gonna probably go. Oh wait, is that from her? Yeah, that's from her. Okay. I was like, oh, daddy message. Um, I am probably gonna go after I finish this one just because um, I do have stuff to do, <laughs> and I cannot sew while I stream. It's just way too loud. Way too loud. Disney ears, like the ones you get at Disney, and I made them for different... Oh, that is cute. Yes, you definitely should set up a shop. That would be adorable. If you do set up a shop, I will happily promote. And yeah, I can't see. I'm feeling a lot better, but the pain is still not all the way gone, and it's getting to me right now. Right? I do not only have three of these left. I miscounted a lot of this. Oh, I did miscount because I added a bunch of these. That's right. That is right. Like I said, I keep doing that. How many do I have? I have one, two, three. One, two, three. 
three, four. I'm gonna do I need one. I need seven total. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I need four more. I forgot I added a couple extra snaps to this one. All right. There we go. That's better. Sorry if I'm quiet, I get concentrating and then I forget to talk. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have just a few left. Let me pop these in there. Oops. Pop them in. Hello, Moomin. Welcome in. We're actually getting close to being done for the day because I have to actually do things around the house. But we're putting snaps in this diaper. And it's almost done. That means all my diapers will be ready for sewing. Well, all the ones I have the stuff for at the moment. Did I already know I did not? Okay. Itchy nose. All right, in it goes. But I really, I really enjoy sewing. It is definitely my passion. I, I really love it. Art, sewing, that type of thing is, I love it. And uh, that's the other thing about my nursery is I'm going to be doing some art for it. And I'm also going to be putting up some of my already done pieces of my little self. And uh, super, I have tons of frames in my car because my in-laws to be had a, uh, had a garage sale. And uh, so I kind of raided all their picture frames because I'm like, Oh, I can use those. And I want to be able to frame my artwork and uh, keep it safe. So Currently, it's in a, like a plastic portfolio thing, so I want to be able to frame the ones that I really, really like and keep them protected. And we're down to three more snaps, and then we're done. See, when I actually sit down and do things like this, it doesn't take that long. I mean, we've been streaming for what? How long? It doesn't tell me right here. But it's been a while. It's not going to be a super duper long stream today. And unfortunately, I probably won't film opening, seeing as, well, I'll film it, but I'm not going to necessarily film box opening. We'll see. Depends on if I'm allowed to open stuff or not. And I have to listen to Daddy about that one. So, uh. Will you unbox them all? I would love to. But uh, I can't if Daddy says no. Usually Daddy likes to open those with me, so it's you know a little hard. To, I'll kind of do an a box opening, you know. It will be an after-the-fact box opening, but I'll do one. All right, that one is done. So this one looks a little bit different because I'm trying to make it fit a little bit of a smaller waist that's not quite small enough to go down to a small, but is a little too tiny big for medium. Um, yeah. That's the thing, like, I, the only reason I have not sold binkies yet is because I have not had a ton of interest from people yet. Um, I know where I'm going to be getting all my supplies for it at the moment. I just haven't done it. And, you know, because money's been really tight lately with me not working. So investing into the business, um, I have not really done yet. So if y'all ever want a binky, let me know. Because I will definitely happily, you know, use somebody as my guinea pig, if you're willing to. Can't do it for free, but could do it for, you know, a pretty decent price. So, by all means, if you all want, um, if you go over to my Etsy shop, there is a, a section currently for, one second. There is now a section for uh, custom orders. And you can, with the custom order, basically you contact me through Etsy and it, we talk about what you want, what you're looking for. We discuss price and I make a listing for it. 
and then you buy it. So if you ever want a custom item, that is the best way to do it. Other, I mean, all my stuff is custom. You know, there's general measurements for my stuff, but then we, you know, we customize it to your length specifically and things like that. So there's always, all my stuff is customizable, but I did have someone contact me and say, Hey, this is what I'm looking for. Um, can you do this? And I, you know, talk to them and I'm like, yes, I for sure can do this. So we've made a custom listing specifically for them. And, um, that worked out. So, you know, if you ever, you know, want, I, I can make binkies hands down. I can make binkies. Um, I'm looking at probably charging 20 for like a simple mod and probably a little bit more depending on, I haven't priced things out. There's some things I want to work on with it, but I haven't priced it out yet. Exactly. Um, so anybody wants to be my guinea pig, I won't charge you very much. Um, basically, it'll be kind of cost and maybe a little bit of time. So if you ever want to order a binky or anything like that, definitely let me know because I'm wanting to get into it. I just haven't had the the funds to do so at the moment. Um, but if you ever want a custom order on my Etsy shop, um, which it will be linked in the bottom of all my videos. I'm not sure if it links in the live streams. I think it does. But um, feel free to contact me and we can work out prices and such. So, well, you guys, I am going to wrap it up for the day. Um, maybe I'll go live in a little while. We'll see with the bottle opening. I'm going to go pick it up in the mail right now um, because it is here. I'm so excited. And um, I will definitely, that, that that is what my Friday video is going to be. Um, if you want to see, you know. Beforehand stuff, I, I my patrons can see some things. I'm not very good at my patr Patreon page at all right now, but that's because I really don't have any activity there at the moment. And I know if I get more activity there, you know, produce more activity there, I'll get more activity there. Anyway, so, yeah. But if you guys ever feel like supporting the channel, you know, definitely by purchasing stuff from my shop. I do have a Patreon as well where there's different levels of stuff and there's rewards that you get for that. But I am going to go ahead and head out and get some stuff done in my house because it's a mess. As you can kind of see around me, it's a mess. Um, part of that's not going to be taken care of till we move. But anyway, I am going to head off and um, I will see you guys next time. Probably we'll stream somewhat tomorrow um, because I would really like to. It may be in the evening tomorrow when my boyfriend goes to his second job because um, I do have to get sewing done. So, But I will probably stream tomorrow at some point in the evening. Uh, probably more closer to six or seven central time, depending on when my boyfriend heads off to work and I can get to work on my stuff. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.